here with everyone. I was kind of honored when Degree asked me to, to join up and help launch this line because I think that my experience on Lipstick Jungle exposed me to a lot of, a lot of fashion and beauty and I, I'm always passionate and excited to talk about it. Um, this too, here you Very exciting microphone time. Um, I believe that even when your budget is tight, um, you can still give in to your urge to splurge. I think that women all need to have these these little pick-me-ups daily, and, and, we, and we're kind of like the first, we're, we put ourselves kind of last, we, we don't really do that. And it's important more than ever because the little luxuries, the things that we, that we love, give us quite a boost when times are tough. Um, as Heather mentioned, the recent Degree Women survey revealed that um, two out of three women feel forced to make some pretty tough choices and give up the small things that make them happy when money's tight. And uh, the good news is that they don't really have to. They can have things that make them feel great and not compromise quality. Um, life can be pretty sweet. So that's why I'm here today, to let women know how they can continue to treat themselves without having to forego their favorite indulgences and sweet treats. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I personally have a few um, great uh, simple tips to help shoppers be smart and, uh, and uh, be smart with their spending. So we can all indul indulge in the must-haves and keep us looking forward to feeling pretty good about breaking the bank. Um, I think my theory is that it's all about adjusting and not abandoning your indulgences. And if you look for smarter ways to spend your money um, and treat yourself, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out for you. I, I learned that when you know when to save and when to splurge, um, that's the best thing. Like, for instance, I like to buy vintage jewelry and uh, a lot of times vintage clothing, but I won't um, spend on my shoes. <laughs> so, um, but you, you can give things up and then feel good about the choices that you make. Um, with beauty products, it's kind of the, the, the easiest go-to way to, to be mindful about your shopping because, you know, I remember being young and riding my bike to the drugstore immediately the second I got, you know, two or three bucks in my pocket and spend my allowance on my, um, my mascara or, or the lip gloss that I liked. I still do that today. Chapstick, um, you know, you, you don't really compromise quality with pro products that you easily replace, but with makeup brushes and foundations and things like that, I'll, I'll splurge a bit. Um, what I love about this product, this Degree product, is that they got one of the finest noses in the, in the uh, fragrance industry, Anne Gottlieb, to design this. And um, it's got high quality ingredients. I actually am a fan of the sexy intrigue. Um, it has vanilla notes, and then there's, there's delicious bliss and um, classic romance. And um, it's the same woman who created the, the perfumes that we know and love that they sell at $80 for the department store. So I think that's pretty exciting. And it makes me feel smarter than everybody else <laughs> to know that. I like to be smart and chic. Um, what else can I tell you? I think tips, guys. Um, the other great thing to know about you know fragrances like this, I think, is that um, you've got matching fragrances, any person can do it, so you're not overpowering and you have kind of a signature scent that's kind of nice. We all know that when you layer, that's the best way to to, um, to carry your fragrance. So, let's see. Um, knowing who you are and reassessing your style strategy is, is a good thing, because then you don't have to spend a fortune. You can go to sample sales, which are fun. Just, you know, be tough, stand strong in your shoes. <laughs> Um, I like to have clothing swaps with my girlfriends monthly when I covet my girlfriend Wendy's cashmere sweater. She trades me for a month for my shoes. Um, and then if you get a, a new update of your wardrobe every month, and that's pretty fun. Um, I think there's ways to, to still feel girly and, and indulge without breaking the bank. So I'm happy to throw in my two cents. Is that good? That's good. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much.